So guys, today we are going to be mixing up just a little bit in this video, and we are going to be talking about my May EDC for this month overall. And I wanted to spice it up a little bit, do it in the back of the vehicle, and just kind of play with things for the future. So anyways, let, without any further ado guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome EDC and outdoor gear content just like this. Now, let's jump into it. So without wasting too much of you guys' precious time, we are going to start off looking at my entire EDC for this month because it has, like most months, it changes. So first off, we're going to start off with what's on my belt and my belt itself. So the first thing is, uh, the belt itself, I decided to change it up actually quite a bit this month and go with my Hanks Belts Old World Harness. This is just a thick, heavy-duty leather belt. Really kind of just wanted to play around with that belt. I don't really use it a whole lot, but I figured I would throw it in here because honestly it's one of those belts that ever since Ashley got the gutter it's kind of just sat around so I wanted to play with it a little bit. So next to that is my uh, Uncle Mike's double mag carrier and of course carrying two magazines, two Glock mags that look like this for the Glock 19 which we'll get to here in a quick moment. So just carrying a double mag holster for the Glock. Now of course, like I mentioned, the Glock fully loaded is a Glock 19. Of course this is a flat dark earth Magpul, flat dark earth Glock 19 with my own custom back strap add on there and the actual holster that's holding it is a Bravo Concealment BCA or Bravo Concealment Adaptive holster and so that is the outside the waistband holster. I really enjoy it. Pretty much I've always ran this holster with this gun kind of pair. So that is basically what makes up what's on my belt and what my belt is. And now let's jump over to what's on my neck. So for my for my neck, I kind of have an exciting one for for you guys, and that is my SC3. Now for those who are familiar with the SC3, you guys know, or have been around the channel, you guys know I actually lost this great little knife uh, earlier last winter, but I found it, and just like when I find knives that I've lost after a few months, it's kind of like a new knife experience, so I like to get back to carrying it. So this is going to be my neck knife for this month. So next to that is my ferro rod, my go-to ferro rod, the Exotac Nano Striker XL. And then of course I carry an EpiPen. So those are the three primary things that I wrap around my neck each and every day. So, <clears throat> so now let's jump over to wrists and fingers. So with wrists, of course, starting off is my Seiko SNK803 watch and that I'm just rocking a lighter weight paracord bracelet. I do love to run paracord bracelets, especially in the summer, and I like to run these kind of lighter and thinner, more sporty kinds of bracelets because as you guys notice uh, with summer being around now or kind of beginning in May for Alaska, that's basically when summer begins. And so, you know, we're, we're running lighter sport shirts and stuff like that. So I like to run lighter weight, sporty kind of bracelets. So that Oh yes, and then lastly and certainly not least is my C6 or carbon 6 carbon fiber ring with silver inlay or insert. So that is all that's on my wrists and finger for the month. So now let's jump over to what I wear on my face because once again it is summer or getting that way and the sun is out a lot. You guys will even notice in quite a few of my videos you'll see me rocking these. These are my Oakley radar locks and these are in... Uh, white and gunmetal gray and I really love these. I've had these actually for quite a few years now but still really great glasses and really great great sunglasses whether I'm out on the range shooting or whether I'm out in the woods adventuring or if I'm just driving around and want a good pair of shades for the day. Okay guys so now we've gone over everything that's all around my body uh, except my hat which this is a booty hat for those who wonder which is no big surprise. Now let's actually dig into what I carry in my pockets. So starting off with my back pockets, I carry a Trayvac Summit with an armor plate in front of it. I really love this wallet ever since I got it. I have been rocking it nonstop. It's a great wallet. Then of course I carry a little Gideon Bible. This is like a little pocket sized Bible and it seriously fits in my back pocket. And then I got the Psalms, New Testament, Proverbs, all that good stuff. And like I said, it easily fits into my back pocket. So it's really great really convenient for me. 
So now switching over to the front pockets, because those are the only two things, the back pockets. Uh, starting off with like my little coin pocket, I have the Victorinox Classic SD and uh, a just a tube of Burt's Bees chapstick. Now most of our chapsticks, Ashley and I's, uh, we, they lose kind of their sticker on here, but this is peppermint. So just running peppermint because I just grab whatever. We have a bunch of tubes of Burt's Bees, so I just grab whatever, and that's what I run for the day. So moving over to another front pocket is I carry the lighter, and this is the lighter I'm rocking. It's a little bit different. This is a UST Tech Fire, so this is a plasma or electric lighter, and of course it's rechargeable and all that fun stuff. So running this, I really do enjoy this lanyard so that the uh, <coughs> the lighter can just sit in my pocket. I can have a little bit of it sticking out, so I can just pull this out if I need to start any fires. I really love <coughs> the electric lighter because unlike with the Zippo or even the P-Dot lighter, I never have to worry about uh, the fuel evaporating out of it because it really can't. So next to that, uh, when I actually carry the same pocket as the lighter, I carry my two writing instruments. And for the pen, this is a Maritac Embassy in full brass. And then next to the Embassy, I carry a, just a standard black Sharpie with a fine point for doing any Sharpie stuff. So moving on to what I carry in my right pocket, my right front pocket, is of course my primary EDC knife, which for the month is a Microtech Ultratech, just a standard contour grip Microtech Ultratech, and it's all blacked out. Really love that knife. And then of course I carry my good old Samsung uh, S7 Edge in a OtterBox, uh, I forget what this one is called, but an OtterBox case. So then next, moving down over to my cargo pockets, I carry the primary defensive knife, which for this month is going to be the ZT-0452 carbon fiber, because I really had carried this knife in a little while. I was like, man, I really want to, to carry this knife again. It's a great little knife, and uh, it is really awesome. Love this knife so much. So then moving over to the next of the tools, it is going to be my multi-tool, what I carry on me, and that is a Charge Plus, and this is a new model for 2018. Really like this knife, it's not nah, so much knife, but this multi-tool, it's a really great tool. It offers a lot of the same tools as like my favorite multi-tool, the Surge, but in a much smaller, or not necessarily much smaller, but a little bit smaller, and easier to port package. So then next to that, I have my primary defensive and just a general flashlight, which will probably be changing when summer fully comes around, but this is the uh, <coughs> Mech Army SPX-10, and still love this flashlight. It's an amazing, uh, very powerful, awesome flashlight. And then lastly, of course, as it kind of makes sense because I'm sitting in a vehicle, I have the keys to the vehicle, and I actually like to carry my keys like you see here. And so this is actually a little recycled firefighter uh, lanyard. So it uses an H and K clip, which is just really easy to just like snag on your pants like that. Hope you guys can see that. Kind of just easily snags on your pant like a belt loop. So I just snag it on a belt loop and it kind of just sits there like this. So I have my auto start, which some guys may not fully understand, but here in Alaska, especially in the winter, uh, generally it can be really cold outside. So you don't want to like run outside to start your vehicle and let it warm up. So this is what they call an auto start for those who don't know what it is. And basically this allows me to remote start my vehicle from a from like my house. If I'm sitting at my house, I can just point this out and hit the auto start and it will automatically start the vehicle and let it warm up. So next to that, I have just a standard key on there and I just have a couple like dangles. So that's basically everything. Anyways, guys, that's really all I have for this May uh, EDC update. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.